Uh, there was very little positive in the news. Okay, another quick one. Uh, this one's about landlords. And you know, you remember, I, I said something about landlords. Um, you know, I, I published an op-ed. You might have seen my op-ed defending landlords. Uh, the Tribune company picked it up. And then I thought they would publish in like the Chicago Tribune or the LA Times or other the big newspapers that they cover. It was published in a couple of third-rate small little outlets because who the hell wants to read an op-ed about, about defending landlords? Defending landlords' right to actually have the occupant live by the contract, actually have people pay when they're supposed to pay. And, you know, I was anti, anti-Trump, anti but also anti a bunch of Democratic governors who basically put this moratorium on rent until the beginning of the year, right? This is a, a Trump policy. So um, the response of the real estate industry is this. Uh, and I, I'm quoting today, the, the apartment industry's national association distributed a blast saying, asking members to demand that Congress provide billions for rental assistance in response to the CDC eviction moratorium. So the idea is Trump basically put this moratorium forward that nobody has to pay rent until the beginning of the year. So what's the response? It's not trying to get rid of the moratorium. Not for Congress to pass a, a, a bill that says, no, 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 they allow allowed to collect bill and override the president. No, because that partially couldn't pass and doesn't have a chance of passing. It would make the landlords seem uh, egoistic. It would make the landlords seem like they don't care, that they just want to make money. Instead, what they're asking all their members is to write to Congress to fix the economic consequence of this by having the government provide billions and billions of dollars in handouts to renters so that the renters can then afford to pay the rent. So it's not about getting the government out of the way so we can go back to work, so we can actually engage in an economy so that people can afford, because that would have them take up a position about COVID, which would be unattractive. It's not about government, stay out of this, none of your business, let me deal with my renters myself and figure out what kind of, you know, nobody wants to kick out people out of their apartments. People, you know, a renter, so if somebody's been steady, always paid the rent and is now in hard times and a landlord, it's hard to find people to replace that person, you know, they might forgive, you know, give them a few months to catch up anyway. But no, 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 this is more handouts. So one regulation leads to other regulations, which then lead to other regulations, which basically lead to more taxes, more controls, more government intervention. And business is calling for this. But this always happens, right? Government regulates business. A business lobbies government to do things that will increase regulations, not decrease them. Increase government involvement, not decrease it. And so we head towards more and more and more collectivism, more and more and more socialism, more and more and more stuff. Uh, yes, negativity today. Sorry, guys. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there 
help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.